Stereo Investigator is the most widely cited unbiased stereological software in the world. With over 8,000 citations, it has been a vital tool of stereology research for years, leading to advances in Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's disease research. With Stereo Investigator, you are able to receive the most proficient, precise, and unbiased estimates of cell populations, morphometric properties, and biological structures. Let's show you how it works. Each probe allows the researcher to unbiasedly estimate a specific piece of information pertaining to the tissue specimen. The Spaceball workflow allows you to see estimates of length of biological strings such as blood vessels or axons. The Nucleator allows you to estimate cell volume, and the Optical Fractionator workflow allows the researcher to estimate the number of cells within the tissue. First, the Optical Fractionator. After clicking on the Workflow tab, you will be asked to do the initial setup. Set your microscope to low magnification and move on to trace your area or areas of interest. Once that's completed, then set your microscope to high magnification and move on to configuring the probe. Once your areas of interest are defined, it is time to set the dissector size. You may have a predetermined dissector size depending on your research. Determine the correct size for the research you are conducting and then move on to defining the grid layout. At this point, you will have connected your microscope, contoured the areas of interest, and configured the dissector size and grid layout. The only step left is to count the cells. Scroll down through the image and place a marker anytime the top of the cell comes into view within the dissector. If the top of the cell is already in view when you start scrolling, don't count it, and instead move on to counting other cells. Next up is the nucleator. The nucleator probe is used to estimate the mean cross-sectional area in the volume of cells. The nucleator probe builds off the optical fractionator. Here, instead of marking the top of the cell, we will mark the middle of the cell. Once the middle of the cell is selected, a line will appear. On this line, you will mark the boundaries of the cell, helping to estimate the volume of the cell. Here, you can see that we have identified a cell. We're going to scroll through until we find the middle of the cell. After the click, we make markings and then right click to finish the nucleator probe. And finally, we have Spaceballs. Spaceballs is a stereological probe used to estimate the total length and length density of fibers such as dendritic branches and capillaries in any region. It works by placing a marker when the middle of the dendritic branch or vessel touches or crosses the plane of the sphere or hemisphere. Here we can see the middle of the blood vessel cross the sphere, allowing us to place a marker. No other vessel crosses or touches, so we move on to the next counting section. We do this until all random counting sites have been visited. After you are done with any of these probes, you can view the probe run list. Click Display Probe Run List. Highlight all the probes for the contour type, and then view the results. You'll be able to see the estimates of length of blood vessels, number of cells, size of cells, count by sites, variance details, histogram details, and much more. Stereo Investigator seamlessly integrates with all the major microscope vendors. Stereo Investigator is also capable of fully controlling motorized XY stages, motorized focus systems, motorized focus wheels, shutters, LED illumination devices, and a wide variety of digital cameras at their full resolution. Stereo Investigator has been cited more than 8,000 times in peer-reviewed journals, more than any other stereological system in the world. Join thousands of scientists in using Stereo Investigator for your research studies. Request a quote and a free demonstration today.